Hello and welcome to Pocket Lint Explains, the part of our site where we try and explain common technology in an easy and approachable manner. Today I want to talk to you about NFC, Near Field Communications. Now what is it? You might well have heard the acronym because it's been very popular recently. It's found in phones, you might find it in stuff like Oyster Card, or you may even find it on your touchless credit card. So NFC in phones, what can you use it for? Well. I can, for example, transfer images or contact details from one phone to another. You touch them together and the two phones do their own handshaking thing and then they're able to transfer files by Bluetooth or even via Wi-Fi Direct. You can also use NFC if you have a portable speaker. This one has an NFC tag built in. You touch the phone and then um, an app loads and is able to pair the devices via Bluetooth as well as give you extra um, startup commands like, you know, open my music player. Uh, and in that way, you get everything you do without touching any configuration at all. So you might ask, does my phone have NFC? Well, the chances are if you've got a modern handset bought within the last year, you'll probably have it, especially if it's a premium model. Notable by its exception is the iPhone. There is no NFC in the iPhone 5 and we don't think there's going to be any anytime soon. But Android, uh, Windows Phone 8 and uh, even BlackBerry all support NFC. So what's in the future for NFC? Well in theory you could have all your payment details for your credit card or even your Oyster stored on your phone and that would mean that you wouldn't have to go into your wallet to get things out. You'd be able to pay for everything with this. Of course that's controversial because banks are worried that people might get their phones stolen and then people would have access to everything and that would be a problem. But the technology is actually pretty impressive and we're rather taken by it. So I hope that sheds a little bit of light on NFC. We're obviously very keen to hear what you think of our Explain series. So please do comment and tell us if you'd like more or less information or what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, we'll see you soon for more Explains.